North Carolina's governor helped break ground on the state's first wind farm near Elizabeth City today. The farm's customer will be Amazon Web Services in Northern Virginia. I was there to find out how the wind farm will be a windfall for local co uh, counties. If you stand right here, 18 months from now, wind turbines will stretch out as far as you can see. Governor Pat McCrory, who champions energy independence, flung the dirt All right, one, two, three, go. to signal a new era, the first wind farm in the South. This is going to be one of the largest wind farms in the country. Up to 150 turbines will stretch over 34 square miles. They'll generate enough energy to power 60,000 homes. But they won't. In this case, we're, we're, we're targeting our, our data center customers. That one big customer? Amazon Web Services in Northern Virginia. The online retail giant will buy the power to help the company reach its goal of using 100% renewable energy. We're supplying energy that's going to be used uh, in the state of Virginia right here in North Carolina. Governor McCrory said the big winners, though, are the people of Pasquotank and Perquimans counties. The project will generate millions of much needed tax dollars. Henry Campen, who was instrumental in bringing wind energy here, further explained how harnessing this natural resource helps. Unlike a lot of industrial projects where you have to build roads and sewer and water to attract an industrial customer, none of that here. So the tax revenue that comes in from this project drops to the bottom line. Environmentalists hail this project as a win, moving us away from our reliance on fossil fuels that are harmful to our air, water, and climate. And with a close proximity to Hampton Roads, they say it could support wind development along the east coast of Virginia. The project will employ about 250 construction jobs over the next year and a half. After that, there will be about 10 employees permanently stationed at the wind farm. It should be ready to operate in December 2016.